All right, in this session, we're going to look at how to add files to your team. And there's a couple different ways we're going to do this. So I am in my general channel. We'll talk about adding other channels soon. But I'm under the Files tab. And first way to do this, and we're just going to work our way across a little bit, is uh, you can create new folders and new uh, Office products, so Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote and forms, and you can upload anything. So you can create something new that's specifically a Microsoft Office product, but you can upload absolutely anything. Uh, you can use this simply as a storage area. So you can upload files from your device. So when you do that, the very familiar um, Windows Explorer icon pops up. So I can add literally anything here even if Teams doesn't know what to do with it. So I can add a smart notebook file here. I could add a Minecraft world here. Um, Teams won't know how to open that, but as simply a storage area or a way to share files with other people works just fine. Um, so that was uploading an individual file. If I choose to upload an entire folder, uh, it will specifically look for folders as opposed to individual files. Okay. Now, I can do this sort of manually, one folder, one file at a time, but another interesting feature here is that everything in Teams actually runs on SharePoint. SharePoint to me has always been this kind of mysterious thing that kind of runs in the background. Uh, in Outlook and in Teams, you'll, you'll find SharePoint mentioned, so it's, it's starting to become kind of more visible. So I can actually click to open this inside of SharePoint, and if I do that, I get a very useful opportunity here. Uh, if I choose to sync, what this does is it adds this shared file area as a drive on my device. So you can see I have certain um, drives from my work as well on here. And each of these is the shared file area from a team. I also have my personal OneDrive synced on here. I have my work OneDrive synced on this device. So this is my, my personal device, but um, I find it's handy to be able to get back and forth to, to work stuff. And now I'm syncing uh, my USMIE trainer account as well. And so it just kind of makes me log in, makes make sure that uh, it knows who I am and I have the credentials to actually add this. So now uh, with my USMIE login, I have one drive from one team added here. The okay. reason this is handy is if I have things saved on my OneDrive and I need to move things in bulk over here, I can copy paste, I can click drag, I can copy or move things from one drive to another in large batches and when it does that here on my desktop then when I come back here to the shared area of teams I'll see those files. I actually did that with this one right here. I had a bunch of Minecraft resources in my work drive and when I started teaching Minecraft in the district there were things that I wanted to share with a bunch of people so I synced both of these drives here and I was able to drag these in mass up to there and move a lot of them all at one time and so that way I didn't have to come here and upload 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 so uh, not something that you need to do with every team you don't need to do it on every device but I have found that it is handy on at least one device for some of my teams to go in here into SharePoint and sync those drives all right so that's uh, three different ways to get things into your files area one create things new Two, upload files or folders individually. Three, go into SharePoint and sync this device, or sync this drive to this device, and then I can move things directly from any drive on this device directly into uh, this shared area. If you are going to drag things over, um, then it's not making a copy. If you're going to move rather than copy, then you literally are moving that file here. Uh, if you copy from here, or if you use the upload, 
uh, it'll actually tell you that it's making a copy here. So this is not the same file. It's identical, but it's not the same file that was in my OneDrive or on this device. It actually made a copy of it here. So everybody in the team has editing rights automatically to anything that's in here, but this is not the same copy as I had down here on my device. So you can change those sharing position, sharing permissions within SharePoint, but by default, Teams is made for collaboration and transparency. So all the copies that come up here, everybody has editing rights to.